What up guys, the Fighting Therapist here and for today's video we're going to go over an easy mobility stretching routine that you guys can do every single morning. We're putting ourselves in positions that we have at work to training and to sleeping. We're stuck in these positions that are not really moving. We're not really moving up our hips, our shoulders and everything like that. So this routine is going to handle that. Before we start the video, don't forget to click that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, like like this video guys, like the video and uh, share it with everyone. It's an easy routine that you guys can really just spend five to 10 minutes every morning doing super easy. It feels good. It starts you off on a great note. And as well, don't forget down below in the first link, there's something called newsletter. So it's a email that I have going on three times a week, every single week for the whole year. It's on topics from sports, nutrition, exercise, rehab, prevention, anything like that. And it comes out before these videos come out. So I did give a mobility routine about a month and a half ago. You would have known if you subscribed to it. So go do that. Right now, I'm going to jump right into it. To start this routine off, guys, we're going to start with our neck. We're really trying to focus on breathing through our diaphragm and just doing some light neck circles. We're going to go one way. We're going to go the other way. Once our neck is nice and done, we're going to start adding in the shoulder rolls. You can do 10 to 15 forward, 10 to 15 backwards. Then once we're done that, we're gonna get in a four point stance and we're gonna move that T-spine. So we're really trying to lock the core, keep nice and tight and just really move that T-spine. Once we rep out about 10 to 20 reps, we're gonna move into our lumbar spine. So this is where the upper T-spine's not moving and we're just moving those hips and that lumbar spine back and forth. Then we're gonna come back into our T-spine. We're gonna do some open books. So we're really working on that T-spine rotation, right? Once we do those teeth time rotations, now we're gonna start getting into another type of rotation. So you're gonna place your arm through one of your hands. You're gonna lay nice and flat. This is really gonna put a lot of a stretch on that posterior shoulder, a lot of that rear delt. And you're gonna try to grab your hand so that you could pull the other way. Here's a better angle for you guys to see. So I'm really driving my hand in, trying to get my shoulder onto the ground. And then I'm trying to rotate the other way. I really wanna feel that pull in the posterior shoulder. That's the goal of this stretch. From here, we're gonna go behind. We're gonna put our hands behind us, just kind of like a relaxing position. And we're gonna try to squeeze our scapulas together and open up that chest. This is a really great position to work on opening that chest and getting that shoulder extension. So this is like the progression to the last move. It's called the reverse chair. So you're just gonna do some reps coming up and down. And then once you feel comfortable enough, you're gonna try to bring your hips up as much as you can, kind of doing like a glute bridge and just rocking back and forth, really placing a stretch on that anterior chest and the shoulder blade and working more on that T-spine, uh, sorry, that shoulder uh, extension. Then from here, we're gonna do some open and closes, internal, external rotation. Once we're done that, we're gonna place ourselves in a nice 90-90 position, right? So this is really working on the hips. A lot of times you'll find yourself super, super tight and you'll be leaning on one side. I want you to try to center yourself. So you're gonna place your hands on both sides to better center your hip and pelvis onto the ground. And then we're gonna do some PNF stretching. So this is pretty much contracting the musculature for about five seconds and then relaxing for about 15 seconds. And we're gonna repeat this action. Then as you can see here, I'm able to really, really bend in forward and get my chest to my knee. From there, we're gonna open up and we're gonna really place a lot of stretch on that hip flexor. So I really want you guys to try to rotate and open up that hip flexor. Once you're finished with that, we're gonna come into a downward stance. We're gonna cycle through our calves so we get a nice stretch. Try to work on some T-spine rotation. Really try to drive our shoulders and hip backwards. And then we're gonna come into a nice lunge. From here, we're gonna rotate our pelvis nice and inwards and really feel that stress on that uh, hip flexors and that rect fem. And we're just gonna drive our hips forward, really feeling that opening happen. Once that's done, we're gonna come into a nice lunge position with our hands down. We're try to focus on getting that arm onto the floor. Now, it may seem super easy for me here, but this is a real hip opener on the same side that you're working on. So I'm really trying to bring my chest to the floor as much as possible. Once I finish here, again, guys, working on that T-spine rotation. So I'm just gonna wrap up some T-spine rotations. We're trying to stack the shoulder here. So we're trying to get one on top of another. So we're nice and stable and open, nice and up. Once that's done, we're gonna come on a four point stance, kind of in a hockey position. We're gonna an anteriorly rotate our hips. So we're trying to stick our butt up. And then we're just gonna work on the hamstrings and adductors. So 
sticking that butt backwards and rocking back and forth is really putting a stretch on those musculatures and that's we're just going to we're going to rock back and forth once you finish this everything i did on this left side i want you guys to repeat on the right side